improving behavior of the parliament, political parties also do have a responsibility because we are in a party system. We are bound by the party whip. So political parties, high time, they must sit together, discuss among themselves and evolve a code of conduct for their government. This is an important thing. In this conference, I want to praise before all of you. Discuss it and then see to it that this is done at the earliest. And we must also remember that we are not uh, enemies, we are only rivals. We should understand we are only rivals, we are not enemies. This has to be kept in mind by every political party and every politician and every legislator. We must respect each other. We may disagree, we may oppose. Is a use, but we will, and we get an opportunity. We can counter him effectively, not physically, through our arguments and democracy. This is another important. Thing. Otherwise, sometimes politicians, the politics are going to such a level. In some states, politicians of this party do not talk to the other man, other party. They don't even attend funerals also. They don't greet on birthday because of fear of the leader. That should not be there. After all, we are all elected by the people. We are all wedded to the welfare of the people. We are competing with each other in di with the different ideologies. So keep that in mind and see to it that we treat our rivals with respect. And the language that is used in assembly and parliament must be dignified because legislator is an idea for the students, for the youngsters. For the people, if MLA behaves like that, MP behaves like that, or a minister even behaves like that, what is the message you are giving to the people? This has to be kept in mind that you are a role model.